What is Paranoid Personality Disorder? It's basically a psychiatric disorder in which the person affected is very suspicious of the actions and motives of others. For a person with this particular disorder, practically anything can be something that sets it off. They're looking for patterns, looking for trouble, and would you believe it, they find it. By believing these things are going on, that there are things they're not being told, they take things as being bad. Someone's not telling you something. Someone's remaining too quiet. Someone's speaking too much. What are they hiding? This also includes taking things in the wrong way. When someone says something which is completely innocent, you might take it in a way which is suspicious. Although usually, the person who is affected, the person with the disorder, doesn't actually realise that they have this problem. They think it's everyone else. They think they're being quite normal in their appraisals. Despite this being continuous with sufferers, them seeing these patterns which aren't really there, taking things in the wrong way, dreaming up through their own paranoia, these plots against them, or these slights against them. Typically, it's completely unfounded. They're looking for patterns, looking for negative patterns, and they find them because they're looking so hard. They, in fact, make them appear within their mind. People with PPD tend to have this restraint that holds them back, this guard, this defensiveness that holds them back from people because they suspect they're going to be betrayed, they're going to be deceived by another person. And this is in fact a continuous process with people who have PPD. Typically they don't confide in others, they don't trust others, they don't give away too much information, they hold back, remain restrained, because they don't want to give away anything which might betray them in the future. A kind of fear, obviously paranoia, that if they say something too personal or too important, it will be used against them at a future date. Due to this restraint, due to this holding back, not sharing, not fully allowing themselves to interact with others, they typically don't work well with other individuals because they're unable to establish a deep rapport with other individuals. People with PPD take remarks the wrong way. They imagine there's certain slights when people say simplistic and even friendly things. When a person glances at them or looks at them, they take it in the wrong way, imagining there's more to it. So they perceive attacks, even when they're not actually in action. When a person says something of them, a mild critique or even something friendly, depending on their state of mind, they might perceive it as being an assault upon their person. They can be hostile. They can be aggressive because of their paranoia. Because they think that someone's doing something against them, they confront it. And because they're confronting what really they're establishing in their mind through their own pattern seeking, they end up creating more animosity and more problems within their life. Out of non-problems, they create genuine problems. And they typically have a hard time relaxing. Through these characteristics, they typically isolate themselves, become detached from society, and have a negative self-image. They hold grudges for genuine slights as well as imaginary ones, holding people as being higher or lower simply because of something which they may or may not have actually done. They're likely to be suspicious and jealous of those they love, especially a spouse. The full causes of PPD are not entirely clear. However, typically, people who have PPD also have a family history relating to schizophrenia. And experts suggest there could be a genetic link between the two. People with PPD don't see themselves as having a problem of having an actual, well, disorder. So typically they don't come forward for treatment. 
And due to their paranoia, and indeed their ability to isolate themselves, they typically are not very cooperative in therapy. The typical therapy, the typical treatment for PPD, is improving social skills, social interaction, and focusing on the positive, not allowing yourself to develop these imaginary side stories to each conversation, and teaching the sufferer better coping methods. In the end, although it is avoidable to some degree, and treatable to a degree, it is better to deal with these issues if you recognise them. Deal with your self-esteem issues and your social interaction issues, either through a professional or through certain techniques you can learn, or perhaps both, and thus limit the problems you may have with paranoid personality disorder.